Motorsport TV Live, brought to you by Motorsport Tickets, the dedicated motorsport experiences provider. Hello and welcome to Motorsport TV Live. I'm Rachel Downey bringing you all the latest motorsport news. Jack Villeneuve is at it again, taking another NASCAR Euro Series victory. The problems continue for Valentino Rossi's V46 MotoGP team and ex-Formula 1 driver Anthony Davidson announces his retirement from racing. All those stories and more coming up here on Motorsport TV Live. We've already shown you how former Formula One world champion Jack Villeneuve won his maiden NASCAR wheel and Euro Series race from Saturday. Well, the Canadian has been at it again today and has made it two race wins this weekend. Villeneuve was again behind the wheel of the number five Academy Motorsport Alex Caffey motorsport car on the front row of the grid in Valley Lunga. The key moment of the race came when Villeneuve made an audacious move around the outside of series champion elect Loris Haysmans. Villeneuve went on to claim his second win in the series and after the race, the 1997 F1 champion wanted to just enjoy the moment. Yeah, we only missed Paul on, the, on Saturday morning. The, the car was really flying. Uh, what we didn't have in the straight line speed, we had in the corners, and, and that worked. Uh, at some point, I didn't want to get involved in the championship fight, but you know, Loris was slowing me down, and the guys behind were up my gearbox, so I, I just had to go for it. And, uh, and then it was just a question of uh, keeping the, the gap. Is this a foreshowing of what we can see from you in 2022? I don't know where I'll be in 2022. We still have a lot to do, uh, maybe some stuff in the States. So we're just uh, looking now, uh, still have a lot of other stuff to do. It's nothing to do with NASCAR, Christmas, and then we can start breathing and figuring out the future. Great to see Jack Villeneuve winning again now. In NASCAR's Xfinity Series, Noah Gragson grabbed the lead in the first overtime and scored the win in the second, earning his spot in the championship four. Gregson needed a victory in order to compete in the decider next weekend at Phoenix and he grabbed the lead from Daniel Hemrick in the first overtime. Then held off a last lap challenge from Austin Sindrick in the second to win Saturday's race at Martinsville in what was the tightest margin of victory at the Virginia track. The win is Gregson's third of the season and joining the number nine JR. Motorsports car in the championship for our reigning series champion Sindrick AJ Alminder and Hendrick. The unlucky ones to miss out are Justin Algea, Haley, Brandon Jones and Harrison Burton. The final Super Formula race of the season was won by Naira Fukuzumi, who got the better of Ryo Hirakawa and champion Tomoki Najiri to take the top spot. Nobuhara Matsushita made a clean getaway from pole position to lead into Turn 1, but his chances of a maiden victory in Super Formula ended when he was handed a drive-through penalty for a jump start when his car having rolled forward by 5 centimetres. The jury lost a chunk of time on cold tyres during his outlap following a pit stop allowing Fukuzumi to breeze past through at Turn 4 and move to the front for the first time in the race. Untroubled at the front, from that point Fukuzumi was able to cruise to the finish and add to his maiden victory at Sugo in June. It means he jumps from fifth to second behind Nigeri in the driver's standings, although Impulse still managed to beat Dandelion to the team's title. There was drama during race two of Formula Regionals race at Monza this afternoon when Prima Power Team teammates David Vindales and Dino Beganovic were battling for the lead. After coming together, Vindales was sent airborne before both drivers were left stranded on the track. Here's a look at what happened. Leaders side by side, Vindales to the outside, trying to go around the outside there. Both the leaders go off. Both, oh dear, big, big incident. Oh no, Begnovic round. Vindales out of the race as well. And Isaac Hadjar's going to go through into the race lead. Safety car will be out at minimum there. Oh no, that's uh, Marin Angeli off into the gravel and into the barriers. Thankfully, both drivers were able to walk away from the crash without suffering serious injury. Now, 
Don't go anywhere. We've lots more from the world of motorsport, including news of a new addition to Porsche's LMDH lineup. That's coming up here on Motorsport TV Live. Great stuff there from the Racing Files. Um, watch out for a new series coming this November to Motorsport TV. Valentino Rossi's VR46 team that's due to take to the MotoGP grid from next year. But the team owner has now said the progress with its title sponsorship is moving very, very slow. VR46 will fill Ducati machinery for Luca Marini and Marco Bezzecchi in 2022, but the issue of a sponsorship continues to be a controversial one. Saudi Arabian oil giant Aramco was originally announced back in June, but has since issued two statements to motorsport.com denying any involvement. Asked again by motorsport.com, the team's boss, Pablo Nieto, promised that they are on the way and that despite delays, they continue to work on the deal. In addition to that, VR46 has yet to make any official announcement on its signing of Bezeki from Moto2, but Nieto said everyone knows what's going to be in MotoGP. The Mon 24 Hours LMP2 driver Yiffy Ye has landed a manufacturer contract with Porsche's Asia Arm with a view to securing a drive in the German Mark's forthcoming LMDH prototype. It caps an impressive year for the 21-year-old in which he won both the Asian and European Le Mans series and narrowly missed out on a Le Mans class victory. He's called it a huge milestone in his career and another big step towards achieving his dream of becoming the first Chinese driver to win an FIA World Championship and Le Mans title. Porsche Motorsport Asia Pacific boss Alex Gibbot explained the deal would be tailored towards a potential drive in the forthcoming Porsche LMDH program that will encompass the World Endurance Championship and the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship in North America. Ex-Formula 1 driver Anthony Davidson will retire as a professional racing driver after competing in next weekend's World Endurance Championship in Bahrain. Davidson, who started 24 Grand Prix for Minardi, Bar Honda and Super Guri, made the announcement on Twitter the day after finishing third in LMP2 with the Jota team in the first leg of the Bahrain doubleheader that closes out the 2021 WEC. The 42-year-old has raced in the P2 class of WEC since 2018 after he was dropped from Toyota's LMP1 lineup. He has a total of 10 overall wins in the WEC with Toyota having joined in 2012, followed by three more in P2. Davidson also has a punditry role with Sky Sports F1 coverage in the UK and is one of Mercedes F1 lead simulator drivers. Now. It's October the 31st today, and we all know what that means. It's Halloween, my favourite. Now, out in the Bahrain desert, fresh from a second place in yesterday's six-hour race, there appears to be something strange happening in a Jota Sport garage. Take a look at this posting from the team's official Twitter this afternoon. Our pit stops are finger-licking good. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh wow, there we go. I was going to say finger licking good or something, but anyway, that's all for now. Head over to motorsport.com for more of all of today's top stories. I'm Rachel Downey. Join us again here on Motorsport TV Live for all the latest news for the world of motorsport. Bye for now.